A Song of Ice and Fire is a novel series written by George R. R. Martin. This high fantasy and political fiction novel series came into the list of most loved and best-selling novels of all time within little to no time of their release. Among this series is the blockbuster novel-based TV serial Game of Thrones as well. One of the most incredible and iconic elements of this series is the massive dragons that Martin decided to include at the last minute, thanks to the late Phyllis Eisenstein. Game of Thrones has been one of the best novels as well as TV series of their genre. During the time that he was writing Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin did not intend to include actual dragons in the series. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. In an interview, the renowned author revealed the same, saying, There was a very early stage of me writing Game of Thrones where I thought I would not have literal dragons. Maybe the Targaryens had some kind of psionic power. They were like pyromancers and they could manifest blasts of flame mentally like in Firestarter or something like that, and that's why they were identified with dragons but there would be no literal dragons. After much contemplating the idea, Martin decided to share his idea with his fellow author, the late Phyllis Eisenstein. One of the very well-known authors of her time, the late Phyllis Eisenstein herself had written several best-selling novels and novel series. Hearing Martin's idea, the late Hugo Award-winning author advised him that instead of giving the Targaryen superpowers, he should include real dragons instead. Years later, recalling Eisenstein's response, George R. R. Martin said, that was a good note. And no doubt that was a good idea, for the Game of Thrones fans have certainly been loving the incredible dragons included in the series. George R. R. Martin's books are entirely based on medieval history and are fantasy. However, critics find problems with Martin's books and series being too grounded and demand that his fantasy books should be more fantastical. Talking about the criticism he gets about the same and responding to those critiques, George R. R. Martin said, Well, you have dragons. If you have dragons, you can change everything else too. Why can't people fly just by farting? I don't consider that a valid criticism. For what it's worth, Martin does not take criticism strongly and does not let his opinion be influenced by it either. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.